all of your pastel dreams have come true. Hey guys, it's Becca Boo here. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is on the Strobe Cosmetics Creepy Cute Palette, which I love this name and it's full of pastel shadows and it even includes a gray and a black. This palette is out now for $35 on strobecosmetics.com and the palette is vegan and 100% cruelty free. All right guys, you are in for a treat because I have three eye looks in this video. So buckle your seatbelts and let's get into it. For every look today, I'm applying my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and then blending that into my skin with a beauty blender. I'm not going to be setting that. I'm taking Kat Von D's Coven Lip Liner and I am drawing the shape of where this shadow is going to go. So then I am blending that out and then I decided to put on a little bit more because I didn't think it was pigmented enough for me. And of course blending it again. And then I'm just going to be setting this with a skin colored shadow. Now going into the Creepy Cute palette, I am taking the shade Blanchette, which is the purple. And first I'm tapping it onto where the base is. And then I start doing like windshield wiper motions. Then I'm taking the shade Strawberry Milk and I'm going to blend out the purple with this. Just adding a little bit more purple. And now I'm gonna be taking the shade Third Eye, which is the orangey color. And I am packing that on to the front half of my lid. Then I'm going to take NYX Vivid Bright's Cream Color Bases in Blueprint and Aqua Sapphire. So I'm starting off with blueprint and adding this to the outer half of my lower lash line, including in my la in my waterline. Smudging that out, then going into aqua sapphire on the front half, which aqua sapphire seems to be a little bit dried out, so it was a little bit harder to use. And then I'm going to be taking cold is it cold shoulder, the blue shade, and going over blueprint. And then I'm going to be taking Creep It Real and going over Aqua Sapphire. Then I'm taking my blending brush with the pink and kind of just moving that down to make sure everything is blended. Now I'm popping on House of Lashes Lavish Noir Lashes and this is the finished look number one. Moving on to look number two, I'm taking the Makeup Forever Aqua XL Pencil in M14. This is like a smoky gray color. And I'm applying this in the crease and then I am blending this out. You do want to work very quickly when using these pencils because they do set and then they're very hard to move. Setting that with a base shadow and then I'm going into the palette and taking Tombstone and placing that in my crease. Now at first this looks a little bit crazy, but as I was blending it, it, it got a lot better. <laughs> Then I'm taking Creep It Real and I am adding this to the upper crease area to blend out Tombstone. And then I picked up a white shadow and just went along the brow bone to help blend out Creep It Real. And then I just cut my crease off camera 
And now I'm going to take strawberry milk and apply this. Well, I'm going to pack this on the inner half of my lid. And then I'm going to take planchette and I'm going to pack this on the outer half of my lid. Now I wasn't planning on having a negative space here, but I just could not work the shadow all the way up to the crease. So yeah, we got a little bit of negative space here. Next I'm taking the Ico Black Magic Liquid Liner and I am winging this out. Now I'm taking a lime green uh, pencil. This one's from Sephora Collection and I'm adding this to my waterline and along my lower lash line. Then I'm going to blend and smoke that out with Take a Hint from the palette. Then I'm taking Third Eye and I'm going to put this in my inner corner. Now I wanted this to have a little bit of shine so I'm going to ABH Aurora Glow Kit and I'm taking Eclipse and placing that right on top. Then for lashes I'm popping on the House of Lashes Posh Noir Lashes and this is the finished look number two. Now for look number three I'm taking Kat Von D's Kevy Lip Liner and I'm going to draw this on in a halo type shape. And of course putting that in my crease as well. Then I am just blending that out. And then I'm taking third eye from the palette and I'm going to be placing that on top of where I put the base. So again tapping it on before doing any blending or swiping. So then I just wanted a skin tone shadow, so this is EVH Soft Peach to help blend out the edge. Then I'm just taking some concealer and I'm cutting out the middle of my lid. For a halo eye, except it's not going to be really a halo-ish looking eye because the color in the center is probably going to surprise you. So I'm just softening out the edges so it looks more um, transitional instead of just like stark. And then I am going to take the lime green in the palette called Take a Hint and I am placing that on top. Weird, I know, right? <laughs> So this is when my eye started to water on the outer corner, so if you can see that, oh, so annoying. Anyway, I'm taking more of Kat Von D's Kevy Lip Liner and adding this to my waterline and along my lower lash line, smudging that out, and then I'm adding more of Third Eye on top, and then I am blending uh, that out with ABH Soft Peach, adding a light colored pencil in the inner corner of my eye, and then I'm adding Strawberry Milk on top. Now I did add something shimmery on top of this as well, but I don't remember what it was. And then for lashes, I'm taking the House of Lashes Opulent Noir Lashes, and this is finished look number three. Now, the packaging feels like very nice. Like the magnet is super good. Like the palette feels like very sturdy. And I just wanted to compare it to the Pastel Goth palette from Kat Von D. You might think that they are similar, 
but they're actually quite different. Pastel Goth has a white and it has a yellow in the palette and the green from the Pastel Goth is more of a muted pastel green whereas in the Creepy Cute palette we have a more limey green which I prefer the more limey green. And it is a nice touch to include a black if you wanted to darken up any of the colors. However, I do like having a white in the palette, so I did have to grab a white from another palette just to soften out like that outer edge. So something to remember about pastel shadows, they have to have a very heavy white base to them, which makes them almost chalky so when you're swirling your brush around in the pan tapping it you will get a lot of kickback from the pan also quite a bit of fallout on your eyes so just try to do your eyes before your foundation that's not so hard is it so i forgot to film an outro so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you're not already and i'll see you on my next video bye guys